First, I'm going to begin with a scripture that critics and enemies of the Bible, of the faith, will use to try to prove the Bible isn't true. And here's the scripture. And it'll come actually at the end of what I read. Matthew 2 verse 19, but when Herod died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the child's life are dead. So Joseph got up, took the child and his mother, came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Then after being warned by God in a dream, he left for the regions of Galilee and came and settled in a city called Nazareth. This happened, and here it is, so that what was spoken through the prophets would be fulfilled, saying he will be called a Nazarene. And here's the attack. They say you can search the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, you won't find one verse saying he shall be called a Nazarene. And they're right. You cannot find a verse that says he shall be called a Nazarene. So what's the answer? Here's the key. The Scripture doesn't say what was spoken through the prophet. It says what was spoken through the prophets, plural. What does that mean? It means that it's not about one verse. It, that's missing the point. It's not speaking about one verse. It's speaking of the collective voice of the prophets Instead of being a problem, it's a wonderful, beautiful mystery. It's the collective voice of prophecy. What do the prophets say of Messiah before he came in the Hebrew Scriptures? Well, here's, I'm going to show you one realm. In Isaiah 4, 2, you don't have to turn to it, it says, In that day the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth will be the pride and adornment of the survivors of Israel. The branch of the Lord will be glorious. Okay, branch of the Lord, what's that about? Well, you got to see the whole Scriptures together. Jeremiah 23, 5 says this, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, when I will raise up to David a righteous branch. A righteous branch. Now a branch, how many people have ever met, have ever seen a righteous branch? You probably have seen branches, but you've never said, hey, that's a real righteous branch. Because righteousness doesn't speak about branches, it speaks about people. So it's speaking about a, per a person here. It says, and a king will reign and prosper, goes on, who will execute judgment over the earth. So now the branch is identified as a king whose reign will touch the earth. Jeremiah 33, verse 15. In those days at that time I will cause the branch of righteousness to grow up to David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land, or the earth. Clearly the same one. I will raise up a branch to David. What's that? He will be a descendant, a son of David. He will sit on David's throne. Who do we know about that? Messiah. This is clearly speaking of the Messiah. The branch is Messiah. Now listen to Zechariah, what he has to say. Verse three, Zechariah 3, verse 8. Now listen, Joshua, the high priest, you and your friends who are sitting before you, they are men who are a sign. For behold, I am going to bring my servant the branch. My servant, that's another way of speaking of Messiah, the servant of God, the branch. Zechariah 6, 12 says more. Then say to him, thus says the Lord of hosts, behold, the man whose name is branch, for he will branch out from where he is and he will build the temple of the Lord. It says now a man named the branch. And furthermore, Zechariah's prophecy is linked to a prophetic act where the prophet is told, go to Joshua the high priest and place a crown on his head. Now you never do that because the high priest could not ever be king. The king couldn't be the high priest. The high priest couldn't be king. But here it says, put a crown on his head. It's a sign of the branch, of the branch. In other words, Messiah, what it's saying is Messiah will be both king and and high priest. A king he'll rule, priest he will reconcile us to God, the Messiah. The book of Hebrews says that Messiah is what? The, our high priest, our great high priest. Psalm 110 says of Messiah, sit on the throne, I will, I, you all, then it goes on and says, you are a priest after the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek was king and priest. It's saying Messiah will be king and priest. All right, the branch. But what does this have to do with the verse we started out with that they use to attack the Bible? 
Well, there's one more scripture that speaks of Messiah as the branch. And it's in the Emmanuel section of Isaiah where he talks about the, the, the birth of a child. And it's this, Isaiah 11 verse 1. Listen. Then a shoot will spring up from the stem of Jesse, and a branch will, will come forth from his roots and will bear fruit, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Goes on to say he's going to reign over the earth. And in his reign the wolf will lay down with a lamb. Clearly only one Messiah, Mashiach. But what's significant here is it calls him the branch, but the word it uses in Hebrew is the word netzer. Try it. Netzer. netzer. That may, branch. Netzer. But if you add a T at the end of the word, it becomes netzeret. Netzeret in English becomes Nazareth. What does Nazareth mean here? Nazareth means the place of the branch. How cool. The place of the branch. And the prophecy says the sh a shoot will come up, the, the word netzer, it will come up, and Nazareth means the place of the coming up. This has became how perfect the place of his childhood. It's the place of his sprouting up. That's what it means. How perfect the growing up place, the springing up place, Nazareth, the place of the springing up of the branch. He, and so here... It says, so it doesn't have one verse that says he'll be called a Nazarene or Netzer or the branch, but you've got many verses. The prophets say he will be called the branch, and one of the names for branch is, in Hebrew, is Netzer, which you get when you get Nazareth, Nazarene. That's one mystery. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.